Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon. Day 16. Day 16, we're getting closer and closer. Guys, we finally found a butcher that's willing to get us a, a turkey. Such a sweet guy. He said, just call me because you can order at his store via one of these apps. He's like, just, just, just call me. You don't have Day to do- Day 16. Day 16 with that cute sweetheart. Mm. But look at uh, the 24. 24, yeah. 24, Rene big says that that's the big since one. now we've been selling there as something <laughs> big, we have to do it live. <laughs> we might do it live, we Rene. Might, we might do Just for you. <laughs> yeah. It's so. either going to be a big disappointment or, uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, well. We'll see. We'll see. We have to. No, faith. but the chocolate is good. Yeah, guys, honestly, after this, I'm going to look it up. It's this brand. See what they have. I've never heard of it. You, Mike? Never heard of this brand. No. Okay. Oh, it is really good. Mm -hmm. If you want to surprise someone that loves chocolate, maybe you can give this a chance. At least now you know from us guys that it's really, really good. How many more? One, two. Even if you want to surprise a grandpa or a grandma with no teeth, this is so soft. <laughs> it literally melts in your mouth. So. How many? Hmm. Six, seven. This has been a really delicious adventure, opening all these doors. <clears throat> then, of course, the countdown. It's the final countdown. Hopefully not the final one. Eight days. Hope is coming, you guys. More and more people are starting to get the, the vaccine. I'm just gonna call it that, the vaccine. I think from now on, when you say the vaccine, that year, I think everyone will know what you refer to. But yeah, eight days, eight days to go. Make sure you have everything in your home, especially if you're living in a country like what we have here right now, a hard lockdown. Just make sure that, um, I don't know, you try to get stuff on time, you guys. All right, be happy. We love you. You know, Grease is one of these movies, when you put it up, even as background movement, it will draw you back in. Hey, trying to tell something here. Been dating at it the whole night. That's a nice song. All right, come back, let's play. Guys, yesterday we watched the rivers and today we watched the coal miner's daughter. I just love these movies, these old movies. Well, they're not that old. No, about 40 years. Well, yeah, to me that's not old. So that's not that old. <laughs> yeah, no, 40 years is old, but I mean, to me, like old, old is more like the black and white movies. So. There were one there. I was one. And I was ten. I was still in my diapers. And you were playing with your marbles? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you had if Marvel was still a thing. I started high school. You started high school, you're a Commodore computer. But uh guys, this is really a not, I love this genre. I love these uh, old ish American movies. Especially if they take place the plot is in the countryside. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this halal slash kosher marshmallow. We got it from an Islamic company in Germany. Love it. Can have as much as I want of this. And this, I went to, the, to pick up some medication uh, in Chinatown. And oh, it just happens to be in Chinatown. And this is a Chinese coconut roll cake. 
it is so, so good. Guys, guys, look. Wait, first, let me give you some context. context. So Mike got us these. Remember I told you about these? And this has no gelatin, no uh, animal part in it. So then we got the idea of trying to get more of that, uh, of the same stuff with no animal parts in it, or at least halal, or as you guys probably know it better, kosher, for those of you that know the Jew uh, uh, term. Uh, so yeah, so I got these. These are halal, <laughs> which means they're, um, look, so it says halal, kosher. Um, I think it's the same thing, you know, we Muslims, Jews have the same thing, think more or less the ID. So that's what it is. So it, this for you out there, because I know we also have uh, some uh, Muslim friends watching, but sometimes struggle with what to get sometimes. Know that you have a lot of option. Mike got me the ID of trying to do some marshmallow in hot cocoa. And, um, and we wanted to make some Rice Krispie treats. Oh yeah, and some Rice Krispie treats too. <laughs> so that's also problematic. Uh, it has pork gelatin in it. Yeah, so, uh, but with this one, I think we can do something. And this one even has the strawberry, was it the... Raspberry. No, the raspberry uh, flavor. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I got this because at the website, it was advertised as being the marshmallows with uh, plant-based gelatin. Okay. But this actually, is... it's cocoa mix. <laughs> yeah, this is the whole package. <laughs> yeah, so... No problem, of course, but, but uh, that was not what I, what I was going for. So then we looked at the internet again and came up with all this stuff. I just love it. So this is all, this is all halal. This is all something that I, and this one as, well. as a Muslim, I can I, have. I cut this open when I opened. Yeah, he was unboxing it. So just want to say you guys because um, you don't have to be a Muslim or a Jew to want halal or kosher. But there are a lot of people that just you know, um, just uh, make this conscious choice of not having anything with you see it more and more, animal stuff in it. Yeah, so um, just know that there is a lot of option out there for you. For example, if you're a vegetarian or there's really a lot of stuff. So this just was delivered from Germany. And I love these frogs, but I could never have them. Now I can.